What is up guys, this is Jay here, Jay Media one and we are back with another product tech review. Today we got the new AirPods. This is the all new redesigned AirPods. These are not the Pros. These are the newly released. And we're going to go straight out of the box here. Just kind of like we did with the MacBook Pro. And if you guys like, you want to check out that video, I will leave a link up here for you guys to get right to it. So we're going to go straight out of the box. <clears throat> Nothing special about this box, but we're just going to rip it open. Once we get that open, we can see them sitting inside of there. They have that really cool aesthetic. But we thought, heck, let's go with it just in case, right? So just kind of like cellophane down here. So we're going to get rid of this real quick. And that's going away. So this is the box that they come in. MagSafe charging case. Super cool. That's a cool feature. And then we of course have the information on the sides as normal. These are the AirPods third generation. So it's a nice little case. These actually um, stick out. So if you put your finger over top of these they kind of pop out a little bit. The picture of the AirPods which is cool. We got the two green strips. Classic of Apple. So we're going to peel the strips back. And once we get the strips back, we should be able to just let these fall. So we're going to let them just kind of drop. Help them a little. Nothing in the top, just a nice strong case. And here comes our reading material again. Nothing in there, just tells you how to pair them, set them up, everything cool like that. So we're going to get that bag in there. Let's get that out of the way. And there's the box with these strips. There's a little tab, we lift up on the tab, and they come wrapped like this. So they're kind of just uh, just wrapped around. There's like a little X inside of there. So we peel this back. And then we're going to have to slide this out. Nothing else in there. Well, there might be. We're going to double check. So this is the clean little case that they come in. It's kind of similar to the AirPods Pro. It's not quite as long, at least it doesn't seem that way. There is a USB-C port down at the bottom. There's a light on top. So when you open it up, you can see if, it, if it's charging. They started, started putting this light on the outside, and the reason why they do that is because um, when you're wirelessly charging them, when you put them on a wireless charger, you can see. Your pair, pairing button's in the back. They got that snap feel to them with the lid. I know there's people that walk around for hours doing this just because uh, it's got that cool fidgety kind of deal to it. But if we take one out of the, the box here, it's got this crazy design. And it, I thought for sure these were going to be just like the AirPod Pros without the little silicone tip. But they're different. They're definitely different. The stem seems to be um, not as long as the first ones, definitely, but not quite as short as the Pros. Um, you can see the little ring around the bottom here. That's where the charging ring is. And then there's the little outside speaker. And then you also have the, the inside speakers. And then you got a speaker up top here with a little grill. And then your big speaker port. And so this one's for the left. So if I just stick this one in my left ear, it conforms real nice. Um, doesn't feel out of place or anything. It feels pretty good. This one in the right ear. Feels pretty good. Shake my head around. I can notice that it's already starting to silence what's going on around me. They fit a little bit snugger than the, the previous AirPods. If you can see inside of my ear there how they kind of fit. Um, I don't like the Pros. And the main reason that I don't like the Pros is because I don't like the silicon tips on top. It's not because they don't fit good, it's just the way that they feel. I don't like that feeling of that silicone inside of my ear. And they kind of sit in there differently. If you look inside here, you can see that they kind of rest on top more. They don't sit down as much inside of the case. And they feel good, they feel premium, classic of Apple. Um, not too bad, guys. So, <clears throat> what's different, right? So there's an all-new design. The AirPods are lightweight, and they offer a contour design. 
They sit at just the right angle for comfort and a better direct audio to your ear. The stem is 33% shorter than the AirPods second generation and includes force touch sensor to easily control music and calls. Spatial audio with dynamic head tracking. Sound is placed all around you to create immersion. It's got three dimensional listening um, for music, TV shows, and music. Gyroscopes and accelerometers in the AirPods work together to track your head and so it could tell what movement it's making. So if the sounds <coughs> in your songs are in the center of the stage, it will direct it to the center. It's got an adaptive EQ. Music is automatically tuned to suit the shape of your ear inward um, facing microphones detect what you're hearing. Then they adjust the low and the mid-range frequencies to deliver rich details in every single song. They have a longer battery life. AirPods have an extra hour of battery life compared with the AirPods second generation for up to six hours of listening time and you get four full hours of talk time with just five minutes of charge. You'll get an extra hour of listening or talk time. And with the MagSafe charging case, you can enjoy up to 30 hours of total listening time and charging with compatible MagSafe and wireless chargers. Sweat and water resistant, both AirPods and the MagSafe charging case are rated at IPX4 resistance, so they'll withstand anything from rain to uh, heavy workouts without a problem. That's something a little bit different because before the, the resistance was just in the AirPod, right? And now it's actually in the AirPod and the case, which I think that is super cool because there are times when you're working out, you put these in your pocket or your sweat shorts, and you sweat a little bit there too, so that's great. Plus, if you drop them in a puddle, something like that, you don't have to worry too much. Um, setup is effortless. You just simply pull them out of the case and they're ready to use. They automatically uh, switch between your Apple devices in ear detection, knows the difference between your ear and uh, other surfaces, which is the good thing. Um, it announces notifications with Siri, gives you the option to have Siri read your notifications uh, throughout your AirPods. And with audio sharing, you, can, you and a friend can easily share a song or show between any two sets of AirPods, which I think that's a super cool feature because there's been many a times when I was younger I tried to devise, you know, a device or something cool to where my friend could still listen to the same show as me. I remember back in the day before headphones even had A2DP technology where you couldn't uh, wirelessly listen at all, you know, you had to you had to uh, plug in so they've came a long way I think that these are super cool I think that uh, anybody that listens to music works out or just would like to uh, be able to talk on the phone anything like that for long periods of time these are going to be super awesome and the coolest thing about the pairing is that I compare these to my Mac and my iPad and my iPhone and if I'm on my iPhone, they'll switch to my iPhone. If I turn my iPhone off and I go to my Mac, they'll switch to my Mac and so on and so forth. And they automatically do that. The, the chip inside of here allows them to. And so that's a really, really cool feature and something that I think a lot of people would really like. Um, outside from that, even if you have a Samsung or another device, these are still Bluetooth, so they will still pair. I have friends that have Androids, and they use um, the AirPods just because they're comfortable and... Uh, they're designed really, really nice. There's a lot of competitors out there. I've tried the Beats Buds, which is still Apple. They're pretty good. Not an AirPod. Um, I've tried AirPod knockoffs. I've tried um, lots of different devices. But these definitely take the cake when it comes to uh, just reliability and just how they're made. They're very durable. I still have the very first AirPods that I've ever gotten, and I get every Apple product when it comes out. So it says a lot about them. It says that they're a good product and that they will last you. So if you guys want, uh, these start at $179. It's worth giving them a look. And I will leave a link below so that you can get your own. Other than that, guys, if you like this video, make sure to mash the like button. It helps YouTube's algorithms to get my video out there to other people. Also subscribe. There's a lot of people that view but don't subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel so that we can keep creating content like this for you guys. And we will see you in the next one. Later, guys.
Thank <laughs> you.